What's going on world? It's your man Pat Caesar, Caesar LLC, mobile mechanic and roadside services. And uh, we out here earlier today. Uh, like most days, I try to get up, you know, about 4 or 4.30 and really get it cracking, get it popping, get it moving and shaking. Uh, but I ain't had no breakfast this morning. We're on our way to go pick up a car about 45 minutes away um, in Lake Placid, uh, Ford Mustang, insurance call, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, but I got to get some breakfast, man. I'm freaking starving. And uh, we're going to get into it right after the intro. You know, one of the blessings and uh, maybe some curse of the towing industry is not really knowing your schedule. So I had something completely different planned out for this morning. And you know, I was literally um, gonna throw everything back because I gotta drive to 45 minutes, spend, you know, 10, 15 minutes loading up the vehicle and then drive it wherever I gotta go and then drop it off again, it was great. But it might take me a few hours to do all that. Henceforth, my truck is slow, and um, the car may be low because it's a Ford Mustang. So, um, yeah, man, we're gonna get something neat real quick. We're gonna get back to y'all in a minute. So, uh, this is one of the things about being in business, man, is um, this is an expense. So I get to write this off on taxes. That's a that's a, a great thing. One of the perks of it, like I say, it comes with a whole lot of ins and outs and ups and downs stuff like that. Um, but yeah, all cool, man. What we got there? Turbo draft helping with lack of hydrants, huh? Okay. To read that. Uh, you know, whenever you wake up in the morning, man, your purpose should be able to be the best person, the best version of yourself it could be. Um, like if you don't like what you do, you should just do something different. You should find your love, your passion, so life could be worth living. You know what I'm saying? Like. If, I, I thoroughly enjoy what I do. So it's no problem for me. If you call me at three in the morning, baby, I'm up, I'm ready, I'm pumped. Because I already know, not only we about to secure the bag, I'm about to help somebody doing it. And that's what I generally enjoy doing. So helping people and making money at the same time. Ma'am, you can go ahead and go. Don't mind me. So, um, but most people don't live a life worth living. You know, they get up, they hate what they do. They hate where they gotta go. They hate the people they gotta talk to. And you know, it's, 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 it's sad, but I understand. So, and we all gotta make sacrifices about certain things, but you know, it's your job, and we only live one life. So it's your job to make sure that you manifest towards the thing that you actually wanna do. If you don't like what it is that you're doing, you don't like where it is, where, you, where it is that you at, you in a relationship that, you know, the person ain't doing you right or whatever, it's who, who's, whose responsibility is it to change for the better your outcome, right? So you can go ahead, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's your it's your your responsibility to change your outcome. Nobody's gonna Thank you Right have a great day Nobody's gonna make you live the life that you want to live You're the only person that can give yourself that opportunity to do so Now that might have seemed like a little bit of shade to some people being in McDonald's I used to work at McDonald's I used to work at this particular McDonald's matter of fact and I hated it my face was filled with pimples more than now my shoes got destroyed. I would come in with $100 shoes like Jay's and they get destroyed in a matter of days because you're on your feet, the floor is slippery, it's greasy. I mean, it was horrible, 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 horrible. But um, I said that because when I walked in, I saw this, this lady at the front counter and I said, hello. And she looked at me and literally cut her eyes at me as if I was a peasant on the earth and she had no reason to talk to me, but she worked there. And so that little spill was actually for her. Uh, I wish I called her name so I could tag her on an IG or something because I'm sure she got one. All these people out here, fake living their best life, man. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. You need to worry about making yourself happy, enriching your family, and building a legacy that you can have something that's reputable and honorable to pass down to your family because we are all, we are gonna get called to the other side. I'm just trying to make this the best life I can live while I'm here right now because tomorrow's not promised today. Hell, today is not promised today. Anything can happen at any given time, anywhere. So um, I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast and go ahead and hit this drive. Y'all just follow along for the journey and um, we're gonna go pick up us a Mustang.
we drive it and it is i've been trying to get a hold of the customer haven't been able to get a hold of them um this was a call through a uh, insurance company so they sent me the po got all the information and this is the problem they told me it's about a mile northbound the northbound side from the ramada right here and this family dollar and it's a black mustang it looks kind of like that one right there Oh, there it is right there I see it all right sometimes sometimes uh they're not that clear on their instructions so which is crazy because the GPS was making me literally go like another uh, two miles down the road to make a u-turn and there's a section to do it right here um yeah see what we got here they left the keys which is great customers not here they caught a ride they were like forget that board looks like they came off the road about here i don't even know what county this is after it because i know i was at the end of highlands county Here's a sign for Highlands County. Here's a Mustang. Right. Go right on up, y'all. Yeah. Up here like so. Uh, Trying to square myself up. Only problem with this, you know, it's morning, it's in the grass. And I just what I thought, they got a super low lift. I don't know if it had been out here for a while or what the deal is. But it's already got a red tag. Assuming it does not run. Go ahead. Crank up that PTO. Get my gloves. They were supposed to let's go ahead and cut off this GPS. Exit. So you may be wondering, like, man, that's like a mess back here. I had to bring a lot of wood because when I asked them, is it loaded? Oh, we don't know, blah, blah, blah. But sure enough, I knew it would be. Look how low. Look at this. Look at that lip. Look how low that is. Uh, Hollis County Sheriff has already been out here. Displayed, uh, tag is displayed to notify the motorist. Here's your motors that we were told, if not told within 48 hours. So they just put this on here, uh, the 24th, that was this morning. This is not a ticket infraction. Damn, they broke down this morning and put a damn, uh, what's the name on it? Uh, told me he's gonna leave it in the exhaust. Damn, he left it in there all right. All right, well, we're getting dirty already. Type of smudge that won't just come off. So uh, I'm gonna figure out how the heck I'm gonna load this thing up. Um, I guess, let me strap this up. Yep. And enjoy the show. I really do gotta start. I gotta get, I gotta get something better. And I will. As far as how to mount this thing and such, so I'm pretty sure you're gonna see something in there. Put you back here. Okay. Yeah. Look at my hands, now, man.
wood down there because the car is so low i'm gonna have to uh put blocks underneath it once i hook it up this is the car and i hook it up i put a block here so i got this clip i pull up on that bumper and then lay down the wood so i can stack it up bottom of the car is here so it's not coming at exactly uh obtuse what's that uh, uh 60 degree angle uh it's not 90 which if it was at 90 that it would hit right so we come in at more of an obtuse uh jump into i think that'd be a 45 on the other side from the bottom of the the the, the spoiler to the actual ramp so that's the game plan as you can see that's why we that's why it's working here's for while we got the wood This does have a manual transmission. So just for reference, I know it's been a little minute me recording this, but it's a lot harder when you're dealing with a low car. We get under here, you can see that wood right there is to protect from the rope. Pulling up and either ripping the spoiler or going through the AC condenser. So it's literally at the frames of the AC condenser. So no damage claims for me and my wood as you can see because the car is low we'll use the wood to help prop it up so like i said it's kind of a ditch here but try to make it so i can illustrate the point instead of it coming up uh the car coming straight up here where the lip would hit as soon as it got here the wood is to help prop it up a little bit and then help it make that incline up i'm trying to remember the angle if 90 degree is like a, a backwards l then what's that like 180 yeah like 180 degrees so basically my bed down to the ground is 180 degrees that's an obtuse triangle right if it were to be squared from the top so the game plan is to make sure i keep it all right keep it as ops uh, uh, keep it as obtuse as possible and make the car go up as obtuse as possible too so also this is a manual transmission so I put it in gear and I put the e-brake up. That e-brake felt very flimsy. Um, getting, getting the truck, I'm sorry. Getting the, uh, the vehicle off 
it's probably gonna be uh, a little bit more challenging because I'm, I'm gonna have to use momentum and really build right from the beginning. Look at this guy, look at this guy. He see him towing, look how close he is. Jesus Christ. These people don't care about you, man. They don't, they don't care. <laughs> you gotta watch your six, man. I swear to God, man, because listen, I got, I got a wife and four kids. I'm trying to get home to them in one piece, you heard me? Look at him, look at him. I know you, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. I gave him a hands up, he gave me a hands up back. Thank you, sir. I love to go home to see my baby. So um, that's it, man. I know we 20 minutes in, it took me a little bit longer to load this up. I, I had estimated 15 minutes, but I also did not estimate that it would be so low. If it wasn't low like it was, it would have been, you know, extremely easier. But it's okay. I don't mind a little bit of a challenge. Um, it wasn't bad. My main thing is just, whenever you're doing this, y'all, make sure that you don't make these people give you no claim, because that could kill your profits, make your insurance go up, um, you know, and just, Overall, it's be a bad situation, a bad taste in the customer's mouth. And that's the last thing I'm trying to do, baby. Customer service is the business. So, that being said, I'm going to strap this thing down, man. Like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for tuning into the channel. Any questions or concerns, give you, man, a, a, a shout. SeasallAuto.com. You can leave it in the comment section below. You can follow me on IG at SeasallAuto. And, um, yeah, man, we're doing it. We out here. Get in the bag, get in the bag. Get in the money, y'all get in the bread. Towing the Mustang with the Super Donkey Ford on board instead. Arr. Quick freestyle. <laughs> Yo, man, like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for tuning in. Until next time, you hit that beat from Mundo Beneficio. Siempre. Peace.